Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pony Pad Podcast. I'm your lovely host, Tootsie Forever, and joining me is. Uh, wait. You're not so lovely. Li- little on. Shy <laughs> FIM and Turtle Pain. You're most the host. Now, guys, this is an interesting one because this happened a. Well, about a month ago when you were watching this podcast. Um, Equestria Daily posted or did an article on their website saying that uh, they're, what what's going to happen when their website is gone? Like, obviously, Equestria Daily is, well, needs money to continue their website and they need traffic. But they did an article saying that a lot of people are using Adblock and that what would happen if they kind of just were no longer with us. So you said this happened a month ago as of this recording. The yeah. truth is it's more of an ongoing issue. I think yeah. that's why we're talking about it, right? Oh, an ongoing issue? Okay. It's been ongoing. Yeah. It's, a month, it's yeah. like, oh, something that happened a month ago. Who cares? But no, this is this is going on now. Yeah, like I have the site pulled up right now. They even have a thing. That <laughs> they, says, still yeah, they still exist. They still exist. They have a thing that says, because I have ad block installed because I use the internet all the time. <laughs> they said, hey, ad block people, Shame. we know ads are annoying, but uh, they're, they're what keep EQD alive. Please disable ad block. Or Speaking if you wish to avoid that. You can buy this t- t-shirt on t- Public no, today. No, 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 t- no, public stop it, no. Stop. 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 no. Wait, where are you? You're over what there. Was, stop. What was interesting about this article is they said they were in this, not really bluntly to make money, but they were in this, you guys, they need money to run the website, and I understand that. But they also were, oh, it, it was fan. really serious, the way how it was worded. Which well, you know, the fandom and how much we love our drama. Oh, yeah. no, Equestria, Girls, uh, uh, <laughs> Equestria Daily is shutting down. Everyone freak out. But, no, uh, it was interesting no. because about 24 hours after they posted that, they posted another article saying that, thank you for the continuous support. We got so much feedback. But th- the title of it was like, we are not shutting down. Because <laughs> I guess uh, they got so much. It's kind of sad they have much. to clarify that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is it mostly kids freaking out or is it adults like us that I like... D- I don't think that we um, freak out as much. I think it's probably most of your younger audience. I don't want to say kids. It's more a baby adults. Younger audience. It's a baby adults who take the show too seriously. Uh-huh. Maybe not even, like, <laughs> yeah. maybe it's just people who don't stay as informed about the community as we do. Because, let's face it, we kind of are a little obsessive. Yeah, well, we're just like, meh. I mean, a question daily wouldn't have made a post about, what do you even call it, being in trouble? I guess if they are in trouble, then, that, yeah, that is something to be concerned about. Mm-hmm. But it is. at the same time... Uh, I don't know. I don't see them just closing up overnight. Uh, no, maybe, they I, would, I, I see I, a long, painful process. I think yeah. they would at least give people notice. And you know what? I think we're experiencing that long, painful process for you reasons are. I don't know if I can go into detail or not. No, can you? It just feels like to me, and I want to use it, guys, you bounce off of this, but it feels like to me they are getting a little bit desperate for clicks and stuff, but their referral links, their mm. uh, adult like, content, clickbait, that sort of stuff. The I think Pony Fidget Spinner ad they posted... <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm yeah. 90% uh, sure the only reason they posted a fidget spinner is because of a fad and because it was a referral link. So every, if you click that link, they get money. Or you buy using that link, they get money. So my harshest criticism of Equestria Daily, as someone who uses it every day and doesn't really like hate it or have anything too much against it, my harshest criticism is that they're getting really desperate and it's, de- it's depressing and sad to see that happen. It is what very, do you guys think? It is very, I, I agree with you on that. It is very sad especially with their pony post of the day they do post some very very like wow very interesting Ooh. art uh, well, i think see and the question daily kind of have has a history of coming from 4chan so this don't made the question daily after being banned from 4chan so he's like oh they banned me from 4chan i'll make my own that sort yeah. of mentality uh, so, that's that's not at the really same a... time i always kind of thought of a question daily as like a central hub for newcomers see, and family yeah. friendly the, viewers, the problem but, like, Not he doesn't so really anymore. divide it either way, because he has the rules in place that say, like, family-friendly only content, <laughs> and then he also does, like, follow the question, which is a bit more adult in nature. Not saying it's bad, but, it's But it's a little bit different, because that's adult in nature, and it's also, like, they... 60 hours long, if you want to listen to, or read Yeah, them. but it's no, still no, adult in nature, kid, it still violates the family rule. It isn't is... Gonna ha- stumble upon that. Uh, I can't recommend like the question daily. Posts. Yeah, I can't recommend anyone to request your daily anymore, just because of that... I don't want them to I, I, see yeah. that when they first also, see My Little Pony. I mean, could you... Uh, it's one uh, thing for it to kind of exist, but I don't think, in my opinion, and you know, bounce off of this as a topic if you want, but in my opinion, Equestria Girl should kind of... <laughs> Equestria Daily, I'm sorry. Equestria Daily should kind of be like a central hub for newcomers and relatively family-friendliness. Not, not all-out Hasbro-friendly, but just relatively family-friendly, but yeah. they've gone in the total opposite direction now. It's kind they, of sad. They have, 
Like, Equestria Daily is where everyone goes. That's like the main main source of everything, where everyone goes. Well, it goes. used to be. Yeah, it used to. Now, now, now we can use... So much. Now we now, can use Reddit, we can use Tumblr, we can use 4chan, podcasts. again, podcasts, uh, yes, YouTube. Yes, another, one thing uh, that I found interesting, and even, like, this was really stupid of what they posted, because they didn't, some of the stuff they post, they don't have sources on it of where they got the information. Because I have a thing, I have a thing on my Google that, or I just typed in Pony Movie, and whenever something Pony Movie is popped up on Google, I get an email telling me, and uh, one of the the emails I got was, it had the pony movie in the description, but it was Hasbro marketing to boys. But there wasn't really a source or anything. It was literally just that. And then like five Let's minutes later, uh, no, I'm getting to that. Equestria Daily posted that. Literally, they didn't have any source or well, anything. Well, there's nothing wrong with being content aggregation. If they're, you know, I, I see all the time something pops up on Reddit, then it pops up in Equestria Daily. That's just. That's okay. Like that's kind of what they're for. They just get the news out, you know. I know, I know. but I, there wasn't any. There wasn't any source for it or anything. Like there wasn't source. All they did was just go off that. Yeah, they linked to the source. That was the source. You're talking about an article that popped up about the CEO talking about boys' toys or whatever like that, and of course they picked up on it. Yeah, that, that that is the source. I don't really know what you're talking about. Mm, yeah, maybe uh, it was just. I don't know, I just feel like some of the stuff they do post, like, they have sources on there, but half the time I click on the sources, they don't work. I don't know if that's okay, my bad internet. Okay, and speaking of sources, something very major, I just want to kind of get out there, it's just something on my mind for a while, but Equestria Daily, amongst the complaints of not getting enough funds, another thing I see consistently complained about coming from them is, oh, our SEO is so bad, Google won't list us high in the rankings, we're not getting any search engine clicks. Mm, you know really? why that's the case? Because there are posts, uh, posts the Very. source links, and their art is not necessarily family friendly. Actually, it's like the opposite now. Yeah, and which is linking, Google's hiding that. Those linking to blogs that are tagged as NSFW gets you like flagged on Google. Google won't promote a My Little Pony website in that manner. That because obviously like, links to that sort of thing. So you can't complain about SEO and then link to that kind of information that or that content. So I mean, you can. You just look wrong. Now you uh, won't be showing up any anywhere near the top of the results for my little yeah. party. That's it. That, that's know, your that's your prerogative, but you can't complain about that then. I don't know. I I didn't have any trouble finding them when I just searched the name of the website. Yeah, Coaster Daily will pop up. Yeah, if you search that, but yeah. it'll pop I don't up. Think but you're anywhere, just I'm gonna do it now. If you just search My Little Pony, I think my website's before theirs. Oh well, I mean, I think uh, what the what is the dot com website. Hold on, I, better I recommend I recommend people that website almost all yes. the time. <laughs> yeah, Google what is a brony right now. Give him ad revenue. <laughs> No, or but anywho, Equestria Daily, yeah, they get kind of desperate with some of their posts. Like, some of the times they will post a, uh, they'll post a video maker of uh, Fluttershy playing a game. But the problem is, what makes that one person different from all the other Fluttershy voice just actors? Filling a, just filling a time slot in most cases. Again, that's kind yeah. of understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even so, like, he doesn't, like, so if something is released at a certain time, like, he won't consider like, older content to be brought back up. It's, he's trying to stay relevant with new content. No, he'll, he will post some stuff that is uh, old content, because uh, he did post um, a Lyra and Bonbon bon animation on Lyra and Bonbon bon Day. Mm. And so one thing I do love about Equestria Daily is that they did give us... Uh, they have well, given the us is... a lot of stuff, a lot of great stuff. Oh, by the way, I just found him. Uh, ninth page of Google results. But anyway... <laughs> that's uh, wow. bad. Ninth wow. page? Yeah, that's pretty bad. But wow. anyway... And, and it, we keep saying Equestra Daily, like it's this big entity. Really, it's mostly stuff is, though. So if, if you have a problem, I think it is possible just kind of like, you know, let him know. Like, it's not like he's, it's not like a big company that doesn't care about you. I think it's wrong of us to say, oh, Equestra Daily, who, I don't like that site, the, that group. It's really, more like you're saying, I don't like I'm that not, person. I'm not yeah. saying it's a bad website. I just don't like where Yeah, me too. I, I feel like we should go on record and say like we're not yeah, trying we, to bash it. We don't hate I it. Use it every day. You guys go on I record. I use it. I have it on I my phone. I have it whitelisted. <laughs> I don't. I, I use it, I, I use it on my me. phone I'm, all the time when I'm at work. But uh, if, when I should be working. Um, <laughs> so is, is the original claim, the topic of this podcast, that they're going under true or a real problem? Uh, yeah, not really. I feel like... Sometimes they get desperate, especially when they post like stuff from oh, yeah. the website to get money. We'll just call it clickbait. We'll yeah, it like, clickbait. They, he really needs to focus on like making the it more focused on what he's doing rather than Make just all oh, my little pony all the again. time. Uh, the, um, 
He has the. Well, they I mean, are looking at other monetization options like Patreon. Yeah. I think they're doing pretty well on Patreon now. Maybe. Yeah, I believe good. that. Yeah, they're making like a. I believe last time I checked, I'll I think check. it was a five hundred dollars a month, which is pretty good. Which I think that, that would fund well, the website. Yeah, not not really good enough to be a career. Yeah, another thing is, what were they expecting? Were they expecting to just like live off this website? Anyway, and head uh, to retirement? I should. I should probably correct you. They're making currently, as of this recording, a thousand four hundred. Wow, so that's, that's pretty good for. That's a really yeah. good. Damn, that's way more than what I expected. <laughs> My bad. Hey, that combined, I think that combined with Google Ads, he's probably doing okay. Maybe not amazing, but okay. I don't. I don't know if it's worth uh, Doom saying like, "Oh, it's the end of the fandom," sort of thing. Uh, it's the end of the, the fandom. fandom is time ending. to time to bail out. Pack it up. Pack and it I up. I guess. I guess. To bring the topic to its conclusion, um, in, in a general sense, would be you talk about what happens if Equestria Daily does end. What if it ends tomorrow? How will that affect the fandom? I have the answer. He's Reddit and, and Twitter. That's kind of how I feel. It would be really sad, of course. but It would uh, be yeah. sad, yeah. It like, would be the end of the fandom. Yeah, like, I think uh, the Equestria thing... Daily enforces a lot of the holidays we have, like Derpy Day or yeah. Fire on Monday. Which, yeah. uh, what was it? I do like their plushy, co- or compi- or their plushy posts, mm-hmm. which I thought are pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I like the art like comp or um our compilations. You like those art compilations? <laughs> yeah, not all of them. Not <laughs> the I like the older ones. It for. <laughs> they, no, they post no, them. no. I like uh, the older ones. I don't like all of the pictures they uh, put, but I do like I like I like some of the pictures, not the not the clickbaity ones. I don't really have any complaints with their website other than just that stuff right there. But one one of the big minor complaints is they completely fixed this, and I'm so glad they did. Is that uh, before they changed the rules, it was like don't submit anything inappropriate, bad, gore, anything like that. And then they got rid of that, and then they just started posting that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of an ongoing issue. I have the inside scoop, by the way. I was in their Discord talking about this very topic and how the desperation was kind of sad. And I I was trying to be very, you know, polite and civil about it. And the general consensus I got from, like, the mods and other users was that uh, it's an ongoing debate, kind of, and it could go either way, really. I don't know. We'll see how things turn out. Maybe maybe things will turn out for the better in the future. Who knows? The real question is, who's controlling the website? Sophisto or the mods? Or Hasbro. We are. Oh, Hasbro. Actually, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> would it? Would that make any sense? I, I think he does, or used to, probably still does, have some connections in, you know, with the show. Well, yeah. No, a, lot used of, to. a lot of the show and staff Used to with the hub, at least. It. Oh, yeah. that's sad. That's depressing. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That is the end for this topic. Thank you all for tuning in, and we hope yep. you enjoyed this little portion of the podcast, and we'll see you next Be time. Be sure to watch the next one for more information yeah. on, Turn on the playlist. all your favorite topics.